good, you're good. Great on rock. Today we are taking a look at this Tesla Model 3 behind me. But before we roll the tape, everybody drop like four or five comments down below, each of you guys. I need thousands of comments on this video. We need thousands of likes. So smash that like button if you guys can. Um, and, uh, and if we could get to a million subscribers this video, that would be amazing. Of course, it starts raining right now as I'm taking delivery of the Tesla 3 with the charging wires exposed. It hasn't rained for like a week. And then all of a sudden, the truck driver's like pulling in in 10 minutes. So we go Poosh. Okay, it is what it is. How you doing? Hey man, thank you so much. No problem. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good, thank you. Well, thanks for driving. What do you think? What do you what think? What do you think? I think I like it. If I guide you down, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I hope you got it. I think you can have it all. <laughs> he's fine. Right I know he's not done. He's done this before. Yeah, I think he's done it a time or two. <laughs> You're good, you're good. Straight on off, baby. Straight on off. Nice. 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 Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get out of the way of the truck so I don't get hit. First time whipping a Tesla. Lol. <laughs> 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 Wow, a car that actually moves forward. How about that? From Colfart. Wow, that? that's a shock. Look at this. How do I, how do I look? Pretty good? That's hilarious. I saw that all the wires, all the connectors and everything are still here. Like literally nothing mm -hmm. crazy to repair. So. Oh yeah. Let me also grab you uh, and yep. Hey, is that two keys? How about that? You never Sweet. get that. Sweet. Awesome, dude. Appreciate you, Greg. Thank, Thank you, man. We can put this thing over here and get these wires and stuff covered, covered up. Covered, yeah. There's two keys in here. Look at this. It even comes with like the Tesla case for both the keys. Mm. That never happens. I've never gotten a car with more than one key. True. From Co Park. Look at these doors. Check this out. This is fancy. How about that? Yeah, See that? Oh, I'm excited, dude. I mean, this thing looks fantastic. No errors on the display. Run and drive just fine. I'm just curious. I think the one thing I'm curious about is this fire damage. <laughs> I'm just wondering because it, it's not damaged at all down here. It's only right here. So I feel like whoever hit them, like something spilled out and caught a fire like right at the corner of the car right here. And then it just went up the side and then they got out in a panic and kind of... I looked underneath it, there's no fire damage underneath. So it's actually really not damaged. I just need to sand that down, a little bit of glazing putty on there. I can just spray it and just this section needs a coat of paint once that bodywork is done. All the tabs, all the clips, everything on the bumper is still good. Everything underneath is still good. It just, just needs to get pulled back out. I'll probably take it to a body shop, honestly, and just have them pull it back out. And it's crazy how clean this car is too. Like normally Copart cars come with all kinds of crap and dirt and watermarks and all kinds of stuff. But it's pretty clean in here, not bad at all. So to get the Tesla in, I need these e-bikes out. We just had the liquidation sale and all these e-bikes are sold and lots of them have already been sold. Some of them locally, you see how much space I have in here? So like I could get the car in right now, but I wanna get all these, we need to ship these out anyway. They all sold yesterday. So we need to get these shipped out today, get these on the road, delivered to people. So let's box these up and get this Tesla pulled in here.
All right, so we just got the Solar FF Lite and the Kakuka e-bike, the Kakuka Rampage e-bike, all boxed up and sent out. Took us about two hours total. It took like an hour and 15 or something, hour and 30 to package it up, and then extra time driving to the UPS and back. And $200 shipping for the Kakuka. It was only 50 bucks for the Solar FF Lite because it's a smaller box, I guess. Um, plus about two hours of our time. If we're doing like $100 an hour, it's like $200 right there. So it's like almost, almost and plus packaging materials and whatnot. That's like another 50 bucks. So that's like $500 right there, minus $500 on e-bike sales just from those two, you know? So people who are like, oh, you should be selling them for, you should be giving them away to your subscribers. I'd be losing so much money if I was giving all these bikes away or like that I am overpricing them still. It's like 50% off of a brand new e-bike plus my time packaging it up and expenses and everything. Like, I just wanted to give you guys a peek inside the business side of this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love doing it and I'm glad I can hook you guys up with good deals, but there's always those naysayers who are like, you still aren't being generous enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, bro, I'm doing my best. Let's get this Tesla pulled in. We got all kinds of stuff to move real quick, but let's get this Tesla pulled in. I'll show you guys around it. Nice looking car though. Bought myself a pimped out stunt bike. I'll show you guys around this next video. That's right, I'm a Tesla owner, boys. I'm a Tesla owner. <gasps> do that intentionally. Foo, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I literally can't. Oh man. <laughs> All right, let's pull a test line, finally. Then I'll take you for a spin. The fender line is rubbing a little bit, but like, it does not matter. Oh, dang, okay. It's not too bad, I mean, it's not that car, but. Yeah, but it it's throws fine. you in your seat, dang, though. It's not too bad, dude. Oh, I hear it rubbing. Yeah, for sure. Look at how cool. It doesn't have a 360 degree camera like the X-Class, but like, it'll suffice. Yeah, but this is better than some cars have. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm not complaining. All right, well, this is it. This is a 2020 Tesla Model 3 I got on Copart for 18,500 was the sale price. And there's a couple thousand dollars of fees on top of that, a couple hundred more dollars of shipping fees. Uh, total to my door was right around $22,000 or so. This has 52,000 miles on it, I believe, but it's a 2020, so it's still a really new model. So it's got all the tech features that you'd want and everything. It says the self-driving is included package, but that was with the previous owner. I know that if you transfer ownership, they they make you pay again for the, for the self-driving. It's crazy. That's some serious profit margins on Tesla's part. Uh, which I can respect, but it's super inconvenient on all of the drivers of Tesla. So this is the damage. So what we need to do is pull this quarter panel back out to make it flush with the bumper. This bumper is actually good. Literally everything's still here. All the sensors are here. There's not a single error on the display. And nothing looks like it was damaged besides the charge port door and the quarter panel obviously, and then the bumper obviously, and then the tail light obviously. But besides that, literally everything's good. Even the tail light, Everything still works. Watch this. I'm gonna just push the brake light for you guys. So there's the brake light, and then even the turn signal works. Like everything works on it. It's crazy. Legitimately just cosmetic damage. That's literally all it is. All the wiring, everything is still here, 100% intact. And this was at my local Copart yard. This was like the deal that I had been looking for for like a year and a half. If you browse Copart at all, a lot of the times the Teslas that you see on there. Uh, you could tell have new bumpers, new hoods and stuff because a lot of people buy them dirt cheap at auction with like, you know, having hit a pole at like 70 miles an hour, whole front end is gone. They just put some new bumpers, hoods and straighten some metal out as best they can and then slap it back to the auction for like $27,000 or something. I see that all the time. And then I saw this one pop up at my local co-part for $18,500, no previous um, damage history, nothing. This was the first time at auction. It was literally just rear-ended just like this, and the insurance bought it and sold it at Copart um, for $18,500. I could not believe my eyes when I saw that. Right now, it looks like a steal of a deal. This car, $22,000 paid in cash. The next best one, like clean title, if you buy one from like private party or dealership, 
mid thirty thousands to forty thousand dollars for the same car. So right now it looks like a steal of a deal. I'll have to see if supercharging still works. But first, let's get this thing cleaned up. I'm just gonna hose it down really quick, and then I'll just show you guys a little bit more around it, and I'll show you the parts that we have for it. All right, so the Tesla looks a whole lot better. If you want to bring him over here, young swag, you guys can see, cleaned it up, nice and shiny. The paint is still really nice. Throw some rock chips and stuff, but duh. Oh, and young swag also noticed there's a crack in the windshield there. Big old star. It's, you're, you're not gonna be able to focus, probably. I got it. Got it? Nice. Right. Looks like the windshield is already tinted, so that's good. All right, so here's the interior. Very, very clean car for having 50,000 miles on it. 50,000 miles, I say that with a grain of salt because that's still very low mileage. But on a Tesla, you know, electric cars, you don't want to push them too far in the mileage. Like other cars, you could just swap parts out. This one, if the battery goes out, the car is basically dead. It just turned yellow, but we got 41 miles, and you guys can see it's, you know, it's, it'll probably get us like 230, hopefully, miles of range when it's all charged up. Much better than the Nissan Leaf, am I right? <laughs> the Nissan Leaf got like 38 miles on a full charge, and it was like, like never actually 38 miles. It was like 10 miles, and then you were really stressed if you're gonna make it somewhere. Yeah. Again, nothing crazy. I do need to see if we can uh, charge this thing as it sits, because this is slightly misaligned with the actual charger port. I tried putting it in one time and I probably could like kind of wedge it in and push it down and click it in. But um, we'll see if we can do that right now. But if not next video, we'll see if we can get this thing charging up. Um, so first up, obviously we have a tail light. This is a used OEM tail light. There were some knockoff new ones that looked the same for less money than an OEM one, new. They were like 70 bucks new or something. But I feel like the lights are never the same on aftermarket as you know as compared to OEM they just have a slightly different hue of light color so I got a used OEM one that should match perfect and slide right on in there and then I also got a used OEM uh, charger port cover charger cover door the door it actually still operates I actually opened the charger door from the inside I'll actually do it right now really quick <laughs> it didn't look, open. It yeah, look at that <laughs> so anyway it's, it's kind of funny. It's huh? so funny. It still works just fine. The door just kind of popped off. Um, speaking of which, I never really showed you guys in the trunk. We have license plate cover. You've got mold too. Oh, freak. What the heck? Oh, lots of water. Freak. I need to clean this thing out for sure. We'll just steam clean this thing and do some uh, I got, I'll get disinfectant my bombs and whatnot. Yeah. I also did go ahead and just order a nice uh, spoiler. This isn't a cheap one. I think this was like $200 or something for the spoiler, but it fits perfectly and it's real carbon fiber. And it's got the epoxy clear coat uh, on it as well. And, uh, and I'm looking at it, it follows the body line perfectly. So yeah, so this is gonna look really cool when it's all done. And with that spoiler, I also got a front lip spoiler kit as well. <laughs> we'll see if it looks good. Just kind of a low diffuser on the front there. We'll see if it even looks good. Because the thing I don't like about Teslas is they're just, I don't like the whole culture and vibe of the Tesla community. They're just like, I don't base my identity around this car at all. Like, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, oh yeah, those panel gaps on Teslas, man. Because this is the first one I've ever had. And this is the first one I've ever really sat, sat in or like up close looked at. But like, yeah. I There's just like nothing some, different. I don't like have some attachment to Tesla or anything. But a lot of people were saying that it's about time I got a Tesla. Everybody who comes over, all our friends and stuff, I, they see the Tesla whatever. And they're like, you finally got one. I feel like at this point in the channel, you know, with, with the electric builds and everything, you should have had a Tesla a long time ago because you're all into electric stuff. So maybe it's just about time that I got a Tesla with minimal damage, hopefully. And that's really pretty much it. That's all I have for it. That's all it needs. <laughs> I did get some paint match as well for the bumper from Touch Up Direct. They make spray can kits for small repairs like this. I use them for the S class and the SL build. And so we're gonna do it again right here. It was $100 for the paint, and for a whole paint match, that's primer, the um, color coat, and the clear coat. All three of those cans, they ship out for $100, perfect paint match for whatever car you're working on. Not sponsored at all, but they are really good, so. And then I didn't get a charger, so I had to buy this as well, 
Um, this was $200, but it's an OEM, just a stage one little baby charger here. Luckily, it did come with charge. A lot of the Copart Teslas, they just come completely dead. The battery is just completely drained. So at least this had some on it. But I'll probably have to, I'll probably just have to pop off a panel or something and get to that. It's just slightly misaligned. And, but luckily we still have charge, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we'll figure that out next video when we actually repair a lot of this stuff. All right, so that's gonna do it. I'm super excited for this build. It's just a personal build between the go-kart series builds and whatnot as we're waiting on parts for that. But that's gonna do it for this video. There wasn't a whole lot of action, but next time we're gonna be repairing pretty much all that damage if I can. And we're gonna get the charging port figured out so we can get that thing charged all the way up, see how many miles we get out of it. And then we'll do all the paperwork and whatnot, get this thing officially on the street once it's all repaired. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you can, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell. That's the important part. We need to get back in the algorithm. So everybody drop like four or five comments down below, each of you guys. I need thousands of comments on this video. We need thousands of likes. So smash that like button if you guys can. And with that being said, I'll catch you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.